<laughs> Whoa! Where's your wings, boy? Mermaid Joe on land. Oh. oh my gosh, I love it so much. Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of The Sims 4 Raising Magical YouTubers series. And as you can see, Joel's back. We got him back from the government. Don't worry, don't worry. And I have filled everybody's needs, you know, with cheats, because there's no way I'm gonna fill everybody's needs on my own. The upstairs is still a disaster, but, you know, at least everybody's hair is the correct color. Oh, Lauren's doing that weird glitch play thing again. You're gonna give all the kids nightmares, Lauren. <laughs> All right, so last episode I said I was thinking of aging all of them up immediately. That looks really weird. In the comments, you guys seem to be totally on board with me aging all of them up. I think you can tell what a mess my life has become in The Sims without aging them up. And plus, child Sims have a lot more that they can do with these magical mods. So, we're just gonna throw a really big, quick birthday party at 11.30 at night. Oh, some of them are escaping. Birthday party? Everybody! <laughs> oh no, I can't do one. Oh well, we'll give her cake anyway. Guess, um, our nanny. Oh, two guests required. Uh, and these strangers. Yay. Commence aging up these little magical monsters so that I can have my life back. I need to go bake a ton of cakes. <laughs> oh god, the vampire's still in my house. What are you doing? Get out of here. Let's just ignore this vampire and make some cakes. Actually, I forgot. I can just make one cake and then we just keep blowing candles out on it. Where are you going? Oh god, where are you going? Lauren, why? Uh, I guess you wanted to go to the sorcerer house. Well, hopefully somebody else is taking care of the kids. Oh my gosh, Yami followed me in here. What are you doing, lady? Why are you in your bikini? Oh, Yami. Yami, don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt yourself. Yami, wait, come down here. We need to add birthday candles. Now we have to have everybody <sighs> blow them out. So every time my sim toddlers age up, they look ridiculous <laughs> and nothing like their toddlers. Let's see what Yami's gonna look like. Yibs. <laughs> Uh, all right. Except that her robe is her everyday outfit. <laughs> all right, all right. We'll fix up everybody afterwards. Now she needs to go pick up each of the toddlers and then rush them back. Oh, I love the sparkles. The sparkle trail behind him. Oh, this is our first fairy age up. Oh, <laughs> Thank you, Yami. Thank you. Also, Joey's hair is now black. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, looks nothing like Joey. Okay, we will fix you. All right, go get another toddler. Go, 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 go. Which one, Scott? Nanny! Nanny! Nanny, what is this? What are you wearing? Is this a bathing suit? Or did you forget to put your pants on again before leaving the house? You forgot to put your pants on again before leaving the house, didn't you, Nanny? Oh my God. Lizzie, get away from Nanny. She's clearly mentally unstable. Oh, and she's looking at her creepy. Lizzie's hair turned black too. Mm-hmm. You cheat. Got aged up. All right, he's not too bad. All right, go go get Lizzie. Go save her. We're just gonna take you and slowly walk away from the nanny. Okay, good. She's gone. She's gone. Uh, now Lizzie has gray hair. Great. Also, where'd the wings go? Where, where's your wings? Okay, we'll, we'll figure all this out later. All right, next magical child. Thank you, Yammy, again. Yeah. Whoa, Callum! What's with your hair? Why are the Sims so bad at transforming Whoa. toddlers into children that look like the toddlers? Off to get the next one. What are you doing? Okay, Joel. Whoa, save a day. Oh my god, I will say that the Scott child is wearing the most Scott shirt I've ever seen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yay, Cassie's grown up. All right, we got two left. Let's go get Trash Panda, who's of course playing in the toilet and smelly. <laughs> oh, obey. Yeah, I mean, he's just been standing here throwing confetti the entire time. What a team player. Huh? And Ollie has green hair. All right, one more toddler. And then we can fix the look of all of you guys. All right, last one. <laughs> Yay! Huh? Everybody's a kid! Alright, time to definitely fix how everybody looks so that they look more like themselves. <laughs> Alright, so I have fixed 
mix the child versions of all of the YouTubers. I decided not to do a sped up thing because I didn't want too much of this episode getting taken up by creating them again. But here is little fairy Lizzie. I think I have to add her wings back when we when we get back to the house. But I love her. She looks so cute. And I decided to keep the space bun hair because I mean the color of it is just perfect for her. And then here's fairy Joey. And I couldn't figure out an outfit for him, but I found this shirt which has all these crystals and I know how much he loves crystals and crystal wolf, you know? So this is his fairy outfit. It's amazing. Here's Cupquake, little fairy Cupquake. I love her hair. All of the kids came out so much more glamorous than like actual kids look, but it's because they're magical. And then we have little witch Yammy. We have little wizard Scott. Little Wizard Callum. And then we finally have Mermaid Tails for Joel. Ollie's Mermaid Tail is really cool. It like extends up his body. And Cassie. I just gave her a pink Mermaid Tail. Because out of all the colors, I felt like that one suited her. All right, I'm too excited. Let's just go play. Here is everybody. And look at Joel, Mermaid Joel on land. Okay, we have to actually get the mermaids to have their mermaid abilities. Also, <laughs> look at Joey walking. Joey's not walking. He's just floating. Where's your wings, boy? Fairy. I can sprout new wings. Whoa! He lost his hair for a second, but yay! Beautiful wings! Perfect! Hello, Lizzie, get your wings. Sprout new wings. Yay! One of the options is I can fly. What's that do? Fly, Lizzie, fly! She's like Peter Pan. No. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. All right, now Cupquake needs her wings. Yay! Oh, Sweet. All right, mermaids, where are you? There's Joel. Oh no, I don't think the mermaid kids can get abilities. Oh, well, that's... That's not right. Oh no. Oh, she's swimming in the floor. Um, reset object. There we go. Fine, let's just put the mermaid statue out here right next to the fairy tree. <laughs> the two magical things. Yeah, because if I click on it with my sim, who's an adult, says remember the queen's legend. That's what I'm supposed to do. But with the kids, it just says view. Boo! All right, well, at least you guys got mermaid tails. Go swim. I want to see your tails in action. Yay! Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. They're almost mermaids. They're like, like mermaids in training. Hopefully when they become teenagers, I can freaking get them to be mermaids. Oh my gosh, the fairies don't walk and it's amazing. Okay, what else can you do? So I think the main new thing fairies can do is just the I can fly interaction, but they're supposed to be able to cast auras. And I don't know if they're not able to do it yet because they're not grown enough. Yeah, I just read the children fairies don't have all of the fairy interactions yet until they get older, boo. But at least they can do that flying thing and they never have to walk anywhere again. They're gonna get so fat because they're not walking. All right, so so far a bust with the mermaids, except that they have to, I mean, each each step they've been progressing. Like now the mermaids have mermaid tails. Look at Ollie and his mermaid tail. Ugh, they're all swimming in the swamp, gross. Look, their hair turned black from the grossness. All right, so mermaids and fairies, but what about the wizards? Spells. You can't do anything either? Oh my gosh. All you can do is that. You can just show your magic around you. Really? Oh god, going downstairs looks real weird with the fairies. Well, if that's the case, and all three categories can't do anything still because they're children, uh, I mean, I might need to age them into teenagers next episode. What the heck? This is supposed to be raising magical YouTubers, not raising regular YouTubers. We've done that already. Although the fairy animation is amazing. Yeah, there's literally no interactions. Is there anything special we can use in the house? Oh, mermaids hugging. Or mermen, sorry. Mermen hugging. Okay, so I just read up because, you know, I'm the caretaker of all these magical creatures. I just read up on child sorcerers and, yep, they can't do anything special either. The only interactions they really have is if you have an adult sorcerer, they can help them, like, have two different buffs that aren't that interesting or else I would make my sim into a sorcerer. But, boo! 
Whoa, what's going on over here? Uh, Callum? You okay? You're standing very still. Is Callum becoming evil? I don't know. He's just staring into the fire. All right, well, I think next episode, I might be aging up the children to teenagers. But I'm glad we at least got the child experience. And then once they're all teenagers, they can all actually use everything that they're supposed to be using in these new mods that I can actually try out and finally be different than my other Raising YouTuber series. Ugh. Then I guess that's gonna be it for this episode of The Sims for Raising Magical YouTubers. Unless you guys have some objections for some reason. I think like I mentioned, I'm just gonna age up everybody into teenagers next episode so we can actually explore these mods. But I had a lot of fun making the kid magical versions at least. Also, once they're a teen, their hair should stop shifting colors. But as always guys, if you made it this far in the video, then make sure to leave a like before you go. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I put out new videos every single day. And as always, I will see you guys soon. Oh.